Evening everybody. Here we've got another late 70s Meccano set. 1978 as was the set 1 recently reviewed. But as you can see this is number 2 motorised set. No motor in the set 1. And I must admit it completely slipped my mind and I was reminded today about the numbers of models in the 1 set. So I'll cover that now. The box says 35. If you go and have a look at it you'll see it says 35. Like this one does here, but it says 45, the other one was 35. That is when you include all the Pocket Meccano model examples in the instruction book. And I dare say this is the same, except this one will include the one set models as well. So it's 45 models from this set, including the set sound models, the one set models and the Pocket Meccano models as well. They should be in the instruction book and I'll show you them if they are. But now, folks, you're going to see it for the first time with me because I haven't opened this set. The box itself, as far as I can tell, the lid isn't sealed. But you can feel and look underneath, the cellophane is still intact. Now, I dare say that these sets, for most collectors of Meccano, as opposed to builders, is perhaps not for the majority of them what they would really consider um, collectible. Well collectible certainly but not one of their main or dare I say it, fetishes if you like. So it's going to be used. I will be opening the cellophane. I'll probably leave it off camera so those who do like these sets don't go oh no you shouldn't have done that. But it will happen. But anyway the less waffle from me let's have a look in Oh, it's coming off nicely, that's nice. I wasn't sure if there's any sellotape on the box lid. I'm getting a bit caught up with the instructions. I'll put the box out the way so it doesn't get damaged. Not yet anyway. And there we have the set. All nicely sealed in. Since 1978. And uh, it does look like the... Uh, The rubber on the tyres have come into uh, contact with the polystyrene and sunk a fair bit. I don't know what it does, but it's a bit of a chemical reaction. It leaves sort of a almost like a, a glue, um, shiny glue finish to the tyres, but you can peel it off, it's alright. But there we are, absolutely perfect by the looks of it. Um, and I can confirm now then that the small plastic bags that were in the one set that may have been just stop gaps after it had been used a few times and having said that, talking of the one set, it has been used a little more than I thought but nothing that has really bent the plates that much uh, and being plastic of course they can get brittle and snap quite easily but they haven't but there's a few more marks and a few more parts on that one but that set had flimsy if you like plastic bags for the nuts and bolts and smalls but it looks like these have got the same so they've gone off the vacuumed type which I do have in a crane set of a few years earlier about 75, 6 something like that so we'll come back to the set itself so let's have a look in the instructions so to the instructions and of course with the instructions you get the sticker sheet which is in very good condition I do like to use some of the stickers sometimes uh, sort of number plates are quite nice and um, the Meccano signs, I like those. Um, so headlights, that sort of thing, very very nice and useful, add a little something but as these are so good I would probably consider using the one set ones if I was going to use them. I may not use them, I don't know. Uh, and then as I've remembered from yesterday is the one set uh, manual which you saw with the uh, recent review and I'll just go to the Pocket Meccano models. There's a, a good selection of course the uh, pocket sets had their own selection the earlier sets um, had a I don't know how many models now a fair amount and nowhere as near as many as are included in here and then a bit later on some of those changed but if you just look at the sound machine top uh, row second from the left uh, the sound machine is quite detailed really in its small model in a basic way uh, the jumping jog which of course if you push down on the flexible plates not too much of course because they'll snap it should just jump up and spring. The bird with the worm, I mean, okay, it may not be very enlightening and not having much play value, but it's an interesting way of going, you know, different persons, different ideas, I suppose. 
Um, here we've got the, more of them, a um, lot of cranes and that sort of thing. But the, the camera, top right there, I've made that years ago. Uh, found that quite interesting. Uh, doesn't do anything of course. But as you can see there's a lot of choice. The vacuum cleaner, a uh, really good model to look at, looks the part, but of course you're bending the flexible plates somewhat. A guillotine. Um, so, sorry I forgot about that the other day with a one set, but there you are. So you've got all those as well as the one models, and of course then we've got the two model booker models um, instruction book and again in good order and we've still got um, the steam engine advertised, now that was ceased made in 1976 as uh, a Meccano labelled steam engine but uh, there it is still advertised um, of course, Mam had made the steam engines for Meccano, or Maymod, to give it his correct name, I suppose. Nobody calls it that now, of course, but that's what it is. Uh, and their version, the SP3 version of the steam engine, came out in 79, so about one year after this one. So that's interesting to see. That's still being advertised. Again, a lot of um, instructions in different languages. And here we have some colour photographs of the set models. I'll try and get it so you can see it without me causing a shadow we've got uh, digger nice looking lathe, that'll be nice in uh, for steam power methinks uh, crane um, excavator another steam uh, powered potential model is that uh, fairground ride there model 2.9, plane um, even got a, a steam engine as well horizontal steam engine um, that nice fire truck, although there is a few parts that are bent a bit much for my liking, or fire engine to give me the proper word, very good looking forklift truck, windmill, and I'm presuming that's a stamping machine, which again could be steam powered, maybe via the dynamo on uh, a steam engine. So we've got the, those models there. Let's have a look at the instructions. Um, small, certainly. This is the forklift truck, for an example. Forklift truck, and they are quite small. Reasonably clear, though, to be honest. Um, perhaps because there's more of them, there's less to do in each stage. So, uh, not too bad. I do prefer them in colour. And then we go on to the aircraft there and uh, let's have a look at a few of this uh, we've got the crane um, excavator I'm just going to check see if that one is the stamping mill flying chairs the fairground ride is flying chairs that's there and the uh, fire engine which is there I must have missed the uh, stamping mill somewhere. Page stuck together. I've got the windmill. Excavator. Steam engine. It is a steam engine or a gas engine. The lathe. Looks really nice. Plane. Forklift. That's funny. Model 27 apparently. 210. Sorry about this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for the delay. Here we go. Um, it doesn't actually say what it is, but it looks like a stamping mill there. So, those are a bit clearer, those uh, instructions. Not so much going into it. There is some bending of narrow strips that I wouldn't like to do. But I suppose I've got quite a few zinc, so maybe I could do that. I mean, I don't mind opening a sealed set, uh, although I suppose you do feel a bit guilty of it sometimes, but um, it's also. It's a bit conflicting really because you feel like oh, opening and diving into a box of treasure if you like. Perhaps more so with the older sets. Uh, but uh, I will do it but I don't want to destroy parts in the first use if you like. So back to the set then. We have um, pretty much uh, the same or very similar format as the one set. Of course there's more in it and a few more 
Um, I'll say a few more larger parts, it actually doesn't look that much more. There's no long angle girders, which you did get with the one set, which was rather handy. But you do have these uh, one and a half inch pulleys in the blue. And I believe... Uh, I don't know, did they only... They could have only come in the sets. Oh, I can't remember now. There's something unusual about these that somebody told me once and I know it's not going to help you because I can't remember what it is um, but uh, very nice blue I do have one or two of those knocking around into the spares box but uh, nice blue and uh, we've got two tyres in there we've got two tyres in the box which is a bit unusual we have uh, gears in this set but they are the brass boss with the plastic now these especially these types can crack split right across quite easily so to stop that I may use a brass gear anyway, don't know yet, we'll see how we get on. And what is a bit unusual is that in the one set all the narrow strips and the angled girders and the double angled strips and that sort of thing, they're all the dark blue. But in this one I notice that the double angled strip is not blue, it's a goldy colour. So it's not even zinc, it's a gold, um, well goldish, rather like the colour on the spanners there. But as you can see, I'll show you now, it's sealed. I mean, you may not be able to pick this up in this light, but there you are. It's sealed there. Uh, that's the motor housing, that's the switch, and there's the motor. And in the three set model that I uh, did build, I used the motor, and the motor wouldn't work, so I put a modern one on because I've got quite a few of them lying around. I don't know what was up with this, the motor. Um, I suppose I could take it apart and have a look, but uh, I don't suppose it's really worth it to more or less throw away, I suppose. But there you are, we've got the battery box as well, of course. We've probably got a few more strips and bits and pieces like that, but uh, no long angle girders, which is a bit of a surprise. But there you are, nice, or well, reasonable screwdriver. They can be quite uncomfortable, the flatter ones. But uh, very good condition set, of course, still sealed. It helps to keep it that way. So, there you are, folks. That is the number two set from 1978. Uh, looking at the models, oh, I don't know. There's a bit of choice with this one, whereas the other one, uh, I wasn't so keen. Um, I do like the look of the lathe. Perhaps it's a bit boring, I don't know. But there is some choice. There's the stamping mill, the lathe, uh, the flying chairs, even the steam engine, except there's an awful, awful bend in the narrow strip for that on the crank. Uh, sorry, the conrod, really. they awful. <laughs> really bad so that's probably not going to happen um, but there are some choices there I have made stamping mills before from the 60s 70s set and I have made a lathe in a fashion so uh, I might build that lathe actually because I can use that on a board and build up a, like a mini workshop and have them all steam powered so there you go folks number two set Meccano number two set from 1978 hope you enjoyed that uh, there are three, four and five to go. We'll see when we get to those and uh, we'll see you next time.